Hello, KB Core users. This is Annalisa, and I want to show you the many ways of which you can share your manual listings of which you've added in via KB Core. So this is going to give you an outline of, you know, how, why would you create a manual listing? Because it gives you the unique ability to create a custom link for a property that's not on the MLS, and then you can leverage it in many different ways via the tools inside KB Core. Now on the doc here, and I've also linked the doc within the post of which you're watching right now, uh, you'll actually be able to find the tools and learn how to create those lead gen landing pages and lead gen landing pages with video. Uh, I'm going to show you today how to utilize that Craigslist auto post tool with a custom text code and also give you extra ideas on where you can apply those custom text codes, whether it's on print media materials, sign writers at Craigslist post, Instagram posts, or any social media post for that matter, adding that manual uh, information to a blog because those are also attached to specific HTML emails of which we send out, as well as leveraging it on a custom page. So you have many different facets of which you can think about when you're creating that listing suite of opportunity uh, that you're going to share with your person of which you're listing the property. You can, you know, explain you have all of these different elements that can complete a uh, listing information for this person out on many different avenues of uh, communication. So if you scroll down a little more here, I've actually included the links so you can learn about how to add the manual listing, make the most out of custom pages and blogs, and so forth. So in this particular uh, training, I'm going to show you how you can actually utilize that Craigslist auto post with a custom text code and just give you a couple of ideas on custom pages. So what I've done on my own uh, test dashboard is I'm going into listings here on the left side, that little house. And when listings loads up, I'm going to click on manual because this is where all of the manual listings of which you have added. And if you have admin or team view, you're going to see everyone's uh, manually added listings here. And you can actually, you know, scroll through and see those different elements. So when I go to look at my listing here of 129 West 81st in New York, I have it as a coming soon. I'm going to go ahead and click on this to open it on my dashboard. And within, you can see I've added in like a little overview. I've got a couple of things in the gallery, a couple of photos. And the system's automatically going to bring up the map view. And if Google has created it, it'll also show the street view. And both of these will show on the front side on that manual listing as well for the consumer's eye view. Now, as we're looking at uh, this information, we can also look to the right-hand side here. And we have many different ways of which we can send the manual listing. So we can either send it via email and choose a contact and send it on out. Or we can send it via text, add it to a saved, uh, to send to a person, uh, email it to a specific hashtag or text it to a specific hashtag group, uh, see if we've got it anywhere mentioned on Twitter, generate a QR code, print a flyer, boost it uh, with property boost. Uh, but we're going to look to actually posting on Craigslist here. So of course, you can click on any of these to post directly onto those uh, media. So we're going to say click post to Craigslist. Now, what I've done is I installed uh, the Craigslist auto post tool, and I'm just going to uh, let this add roll and build for me. And it takes about 30 seconds or so. It's really quick uh, and actually creates the ad for you on Craigslist. So what I can do now is actually edit this Craigslist link with a custom text code. So this gives me the ability to create different calls to actions within Craigslist ads because you can't really add HTML in Craigslist. They don't allow you to drop links in. So I'm going to click Edit Post. And I'm going to uh, place this in between that bottom section where it says Info and Picks, you know, text Annalisa to the smart number. So what I'm going to do is actually create a new uh, custom text code to go with this. So I'm going to say text Manhattan one, two, and then I'm just going to drop my smart number in there, which is 760-712-4088, uh, and that'll be to get full details. 
And what this is going to do is I'm going to set up a custom text code for that consumer to text, and then I'll be able to text that Craigslist lead information on the property and capture their phone number on my smart CRM. So this gives you another way of making that connection with a Craigslist ad. And when you create that custom text code for any listing, including a manual listing or any, any subject you want to send someone, uh, you know, that's uh, going to be uh, giving you that insight into what exactly they were requesting. So if someone texts Manhattan One to my smart number, I know exactly what they were inquiring about, which is super important because you don't want somebody texting you going, hey, what about that Craigslist you put up on Wednesday? And you're like, oh, what? So, you know, make sure you build in these custom text codes. They will really uh, help you stay organized. So how do we build the custom text code? So I already know I'm going to call it Manhattan One. I'm just going to go ahead and copy that and take it with me. And I'm going to go back to my dashboard and click on Lead Engine down this left side. And go into Call Capture. This is where you can use your smart number for smart advertising. Now, the custom text codes will land here on the right, and because I'm a team lead office admin, I see everyone's custom text codes here. I'm gonna scroll down and add new. I'm just gonna click this little add new button and drop my custom text code in, Manhattan one. And now I need to actually find the link for that property. Now, there's a couple of ways I could do this. I could either go back to my listings. I'm just going to go ahead and right click and open it on a new tab so I can have my uh, custom text code tool open and look at that listing. So I'm going to open up uh, listings on a new tab, which is a pretty handy little trick. And I'm going to drop into manual here and click on the listing. And at the top right, this is the direct link to the property on your own website. So if we actually click on this, it takes us right to my domain as an agent and directly to the details of this particular property. So I can actually grab this link and copy it, go back to my custom text code and build it in. So I've got Manhattan one, And then I can drop in my link. And then I can choose the smart number of which I want it to be assigned. So if you've purchased your own smart number, choose that one. Uh, now I can click add. And we can see that this, ad, this uh, custom text code is now added to the system. So now I can go back to my Craigslist post and know that if a contact texts Manhattan One to my smart number, I'm going to know immediately what they were requesting and I'm going to capture their phone number, which is huge. Now, other things you might want to add in here, maybe it's, you know, add in, in a uh, valuation call to action. Maybe add in, you know, to see a whole list of uh, apartments in uh, Manhattan. Click here. You know, then you can use like your squeeze page function or your front side uh, search to create a, a custom link. So you can add in custom text codes here for whatever you need to get across to someone. So that kind of wraps up the custom text code part. Now, when it speaks to uh, custom pages, this is kind of neat too, because you can take the information about the manual listing. So we'll go back to that here. You can actually grab this information and put it on a custom page as well. So we know when we look at my website, we have my manual listings, which are going to show up on your agent, and then my listings coming soon or sold is what I have up right now. I don't have any other type of listings up. So if I look at coming soon, we can see I've got my New York apartment here and I can view the details. So that's my manual listing. And I created a custom page for this listing as well. So I went to, on a Popular Neighborhoods, my tab here. I also dropped it in as a prime locale Manhattan apartment coming soon. And within this, I have that same little description. And I hyperlinked a link to the property uh, within the top corner unit. So people can just click that 
and the system will open up a new page and take them directly to my manual listing. And within the custom pages, you can also drop in a video, which is pretty neat. So this gives you the opportunity to think about all of the different ways of which you want to advertise a manual listing, present that to uh, your listing uh, client, and have it part of your package. And uh, you can also do this with, of course, your listings that are on the MLS as well, uh, using the same type of ideas with your Legion landing page, Legion landing page with video, Craigslist auto post tool. Uh, but I really wanted to hone in on making sure you knew how to leverage those manual listings. Now, if you have any questions anytime, please don't hesitate to chat with support bottom right hand side of your dashboard. You can also check out our learning portal down here at the bottom left. That'll get you into core learning where you have self paced tutorials. You can access 24 7 365. Have a great day. Bye bye.